Hey, it's Big Lou, Big Lou Barbecue, and other things I want to do, and I'm doing something a little crazy today. I'm actually doing a variation of maybe the oldest barbecue recipe that I've been cooking. This is something I got out of when I was first getting interested in cooking as a teenager. I used to cook on my dad's old Weber kettle. It was one of those old Webers with the um, vents on the bottom looked a lot like the vents on the top. It didn't have that one touch ash cleaning system that the new Webers have, newer Webers have. So this was back in the 80s. And um, of course the grill probably dated to the 70s. And um, Reagan was president and a lot of things were different. I was a lot skinnier and I was into skateboarding. I know, can you imagine big loose skateboarding? I was 16-ish at the time, and I got this recipe out of a um, Thrasher skateboarding magazine. May have been Transworld skateboarding. I don't remember. One of the skateboard magazines I got out of it is called Dead Skull Surprise. And what it was, was you cored out a jalapeno pepper, and you peeled a clove of garlic, and you stuck the clove of garlic inside the uh, jalapeno pepper. Then you cored out an onion, and you stuck the jalapeno pepper inside the onion. And you smeared it all with butter, and sprinkled it with paprika, wrapped it up in a, uh, aluminum foil, and you baked it in the oven. But I decided to do it on the grill and I was just so proud of myself when I was a teenager for I got this wonderful and people were like what are you going to do with dead skull surprise and they didn't like the name of it and the onions and the jalapenos and a lot of people thought it was too hot but I loved it I chop it up and I put it on a burger I chop that up and I put it on tacos I put it on pulled pork sandwiches I put it on pulled pork tacos it's pretty good so let me tell you a story the other day at church a lady, I'm not gonna say her name because I don't want to embarrass her. She's a pastor's wife. I don't want to embarrass her. She comes and she says, I know you like hot stuff. I got something maybe you can use on your show. And she gives me a jar of jalapeno habanero pepper jelly and a jar of pickled habaneros with all these warnings about how hot the pickled habaneros are. Habaneros are a 200 times hotter than a jalapeno according to the Scoville unit scale is what I have read. I like habaneros, but they can be blazing hot. But I, I do like habaneros. Anyway, so you got pickles. She says, maybe you can find a recipe to use it in. Well, I looked online for pickled habanero recipes, and I can't find any. Um, I looked on them for English and Spanish for the pickle to find a lot of fresh habanero or habanero in English. Um, pepper recipes, but I didn't find any for pickled recipes. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to use my oldest dead skull surprise thing. I'm not going to put a piece of garlic inside the pepper, but I'm going to core an onion and I'm going to put that habanero in there. And instead of smearing it with uh, paprika, I'm going to smear it with that pepper jelly. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to cook it. We're going to taste it. We're going to see how this comes out. So I'm calling this dead skull surprise uh, habanero edition. I found out much later after all those years that Dead Skull Surprise is just really just what people call an onion bomb nowadays. Let's check this out and see how it goes. Big Lou Barbecue. We're going to make this onion bomb. What I've got is something called Screaming Owl Jelly. Owl stands for the Outdoor Wilderness Learning Center, sponsored by the UMM, United Methodist. And uh, it's from um, Dubach, Louisiana. Uh, it's made the, it goes to support uh, the Methodist Children and Family Services, okay? And this was given to me, all right, to try. It is a blazing hot pepper jelly made with jalapeno and habanero peppers. So we're going to be using that. And the dare was find something to use the uh, pickled habanero peppers with. So we're going to stuff it inside an onion, all right? These things are supposed to be, whoa, spicy hot. All right, I better get a fork because I don't want to touch that with my fingers. Um, all right, first thing we got to do here, cut up this onion. All right, we don't want to cut it. We want to peel it and core it, okay? And uh, just cut a little bit of the top off of it like that and get it peeled, all right? Just about like this. Now you can dispose of all this part here. All right, now, you wanna go in and cut sort of a uh, cone shape out. All right, oops, it fell apart. Wasn't supposed to fall apart. And then go in and just 
cut all this out of it. All right, I'm using my buck knife here. Simply because I can count on my pocket knives being sharper than my kitchen knives. That's a shame, isn't it? All right, don't need all that. So, you see what I did there? Let's see if we can smooth that out a little bit inside there. Be careful not to cut yourself. All right, now. I got a piece of skin on that onion. Get rid of that. All right, now. What we want to do now is I'm going to open up the habanero. Habanero, senor. Oh, goodness gracious. I should have test opened this first. There we go. I got it. Beautiful, beautiful orange. We don't want a big one. You want me to use the big one or the small one? Whoo, I can smell them already. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, I'll to court and take the seeds out, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm trying not to touch it with my hands. I'm just gonna cut it like that and get rid of that part. I'll test that, test that here in a minute just to see what we're dealing with. All right, now, before we do this, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter right down inside that, that onion, okay? Then I'm gonna take this pickled habanero and I'm gonna shove it in there. Get inside that onion. Mm hmm Now, I'm gonna take some of this pepper jelly. Should have had a spoon right here. All right, and I'm just gonna spoon it in there. All right, and smear it all around. Get in there. All right, now, get this core top to the onion that we had and put it on there like that. And I wanna just smear this. This has been in the refrigerator because I opened it and tried it on soda crackers the other day. And it was really, really good. All right, so now that we got that, we're gonna take this, we're gonna stick it on a um, piece of aluminum foil and we're gonna wrap it up tight. All right. Habanero stuffed onion bomb. That's going on the grill, just like that. Big Lou barbecue. Let's see what this tastes like. I'm about ready to scream, y'all. That's not too bad. All right, it's good. Woo! That's hot. I love it. Where's my RC? Mm, that's not gonna be bad. That's gonna be good in that onion. With that pepper jelly? No, that stuff's good, man. Big Lou barbecue. All right, now what this is, is an onion bomb I'm cooking. That's for a different video, but I'm gonna set that right there behind it. And uh, cover it up. The temperature was already at 300 degrees. Can you see that? And I expect it to stay between 300 and 350 for about this two hour cook. All right. All right, this onion bomb has been on for about an hour and a half. And you see how it's mushy? It's hot, but it's mushy. That's how you know when it's done, all right? At about 300 to 325 degrees. Let's take it inside, we'll let it cool off because it's got that jelly on it. I want it to be room temperature before I try it. And um, we're gonna take a taste test on this. So habanero edition of the Dead Skull Surprise. Okay, onion bomb taste test. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. All right, let's get it out of this aluminum foil. Got that, um, look at that. Look at that right there. Don't wanna waste any of that jalapeno, that uh, habanero rather. I right, get on there. All right, now let's um, cut this up right through there. Look at that. See that habanero on there? Whoo, it smells good. It had that jelly on it, that butter. Should have used a fork for this. All right, and what I'm gonna do is cut all that up, and that would be good on a uh, cheeseburger. Look at that, y'all. Look at that right there, that pickled habanero in there. We won't cut it all up. Let me get something 
to taste it in and we'll taste All it. Alright, let's get some of this um, pepper, some of the onion. Yep, we're gonna cut a piece of that onion off. It's got that pepper jelly on it. Let me eat that right there. You know what happened? I didn't have the camera running the first time I tasted it. I just had some, so I'll put some more in this jar right there. Y'all see that? All right. Onion and habanero, and I just had some. I had a big old slice of the habanero you saw me put in there a minute ago. Let's try it again. I'm telling you what, you're good. You're gonna be good on cheeseburger, be good on pulled pork sandwich, pulled pork tacos. Ooh, love ha habaneros. Where's my RC Cola? Big Lou Barbecue Dead Skull Surprise, the habanero edition. One more thing I wanna point out, the jelly, Gives it that sweet taste with the onion and the habanero spice. Good. I got to find an RC. Maybe some milk. That's good. Bye, y'all. The next day after smoking a couple of butts, I had that dead skull surprise on several pulled pork sandwiches. And man, was it good.